Hello everybody, this is Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 13th and the 20th of May 2017. So we had a very intensive week behind us. There was a, a, a square between Neptune and, uh, and Mars and a full moon in Scorpio. I guess many of us felt it and this intensity is still not behind us we're still going to have some turbulations in the week ahead let's begin with the fact that on the 15th the moon is going to conjunct pluto it's a bit like the same feeling we had with the full moon in scorpio very scorpionic energy in the sky a lot of transformative energy in the sky very intense energy that could be a good thing because we can experience all kinds of uh, happenings in, in our lives that really are positively intense and shake us up and make us feel alive you know also a lot of carnal adventures as Scorpio goes you know our desires and our sexuality is heightened but these intense experiences could be also not so positive and we could be too emotional we could be too melodramatic we could be too intense for other people around us and this could lead to clashes so be careful on that day on the 15th Mercury, the planet of cognition and logic and navigation also goes into Taurus and that's blessed because when it goes into Taurus there's more of a concentration of energy that goes inside and concentrates on our own endeavors, on our own talents, on, our, on utilizing our own assets in a way that is prolonged and consistent and that on the end of the road brings fruits to the tables, to our table, and that's good. On the 17th, we have a culmination of an of a aspect, a quincunx between Neptune and Jupiter, and that quincunx between Neptune and Jupiter talks about the fact that we cannot uh, dream about what we want to achieve or uh, be too extravagant with what we want to do in our lives. It's a very humbling aspect that, and it's an aspect that takes away from, from our personality in our lives and our achieve and not our achievements, our, 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 the things we do and act and the way we act in our life. It takes away all these unnecessary patterns that are not really productive it calls us to work with whatever is whatever is on the grounds of reality and not what we dream of having or, or achieving. It's a very practical aspect and it's also an aspect that uh, calls us through this humility to do service for people, for the world, for animals and really harness our own efforts to assist and benefit the greater good. The 19th and the 20th are also intense days. On the 19th we have a quincunx, the height of a quincunx. We're going to feel it all through this week, but we're going to have the height of a quincunx between Mars and Saturn. Very intense. It's a feeling like we want to give birth to something and it doesn't come out the way we want it to come out. It's a bit uh, depressing. <laughs> So don't let it depress you too much. And also on the 15th, we have the sun squaring the notes. It's a time, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a corner. We're cutting a corner, you know. It's, it's, a, it's an important point regarding our own identity and regarding our own endeavors and creativity. It's a time that we really need to uh, invest some thought and concentration and what it is and how we want to create things and, 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 and go on with our projects in our life, with our own babies, so to speak, our own creative babies. On the other hand, on the, seventh, on the 19th, we have also a beautiful trine, the height of a trine between Uranus and uh, Saturn. And that's a trine that helps us bring uh, an upgrade and change into structures within us and within our lives and to work in a much more precise way in a much more uh, uh, advanced way 
it helps us change in advance. So take that trine and work with it. On the 20th, the sun is going into Gemini. Much more cerebral effect. And happy birthday, all you Geminis. Uh, a much faster pace regarding everything we do in our life. And a, much, a, a need for a, a cerebral um, attraction. You know, we, have, we, we get much more curious. We don't have a lot of patience. If things bore us, we just move ahead. But uh, intelligence is key, you know, and information is key, and everything moves faster when the sun is in Gemini. It's also a very intense day because the moon is going to square both Mars and Saturn, so we have a lot of criticism and a lot of emotionality and maybe even anger. So be careful, just be nice, and take it easy on that day. That's about everything I had to say for this week. I want to thank you for listening. And of course, if you have any questions, you want a private consultation, or just want to study evolutionary astrology, I'm here and I'm willing and able uh, to assist regarding your uh, thirst for knowledge. Thank you. This is Boaz Feiler. Have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.